Hey guys, I'm Ted and welcome back to another Saturday video. Okay, so let's enter the basement dino dungeon. Today I'm super excited because right here we have the Hammeron Collection Ceratosaurus. I'm super excited. We will be opening and reviewing this as well as take a look at our entire Ceratosaurus versus probably Baryonyx Collection, okay? So I also have another Baryonyx right here so we can also take a look at it. So this is basically um the Hammond Collection Baryonyx, okay? So yeah, let's go around the house and pick up all the different Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx, okay? Let's go. All right, guys, before we actually pick up all the different Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx, just want to show you guys a preview of what's coming up next, okay? So what I've done is that I've actually got a pack of Jurassic Park 3 mini figures all of this are vintage figures so stay tuned for next week's video okay all right guys we are now at level 2 jurassic world midlands to collect our ceratosaurus as well as baryonyx okay so this is basically jurassic world midlands where we keep all our jurassic park and jurassic world dinosaurs okay so let's begin with this row right here all right guys as you guys can see these are basically all the Baryonyx and Ceratosaurus in our shelf right here, okay? So we need to take the entire row and place them into the box, bring them down to Basement Dodo Dungeon to review, okay? So let's pick up all of them. All right, five Ceratosaurus are in the box. It's time to bring all of the Baryonyx down into the box as well. Okay, as you guys can see, seven different baryonyx inside the box great all right next we need to pick up the vintage figures okay um we do have a 2015 jurassic world ceratosaurus right behind so we definitely need to pick that one up as well all right guys so this is basically the 2015 jurassic world ceratosaurus so let's put this into the box as well okay over here all the ceratosaurus will be placed on the left all right seems like we still have two baryonyx um which i think are vintage figures so these two will go into the box as well all right put this one here first this is actually my repainted corner but i don't think i will bring you know the repainted level 40 baryonyx into the box because this is very very fragile i'm just gonna keep it right here okay i mean just for you guys to admire this for a while all right guys this is the takara tomi section so i think we do have a baryonyx so let's get this one out if i'm not wrong we should have two different baryonyx but the color seems to be exactly the same but slightly different we don't have a ceratosaurus here too bad Okay guys, next we need to head over to the mini shelves. I have to be quieter because Mrs. Dan is having a customer upstairs. So let's head over there quietly. All right, let's start off with the shelf right here first. Okay, so let's open this. We should have a couple of um, Ceratosaurus as well as Baryonyx from this shelf. So one, two, three, three Baryonyx and one Ceratosaurus right here. So all four should go into the box all right and seems like we have two more baryonyx here the mechanical arm and baryonyx green okay now we are at the second shelf so there are a couple of baryonyx this is the first one from snap squad another one here this one is actually a mcdonald's happy meal figure Five Baryonyx right here and one Ceratosaurus. Right, let's head back to Midlands because we have forgotten to take one of the um, Baryonyx, which is the Hammond Collection Baryonyx, okay? So let's open the cupboard. Okay, pick this one up. Maybe we can also do a comparison with the other Hammond Collection figures. Hey guys, four Hammond collection figures in my palm, in my hand. I'm gonna put them into the box as well. Right, let's put them into the box. Alright guys, so now it's time for us to head back to our Dino Dungeon. 
place the box on the floor and we can start to review every single figure and unbox our new figure. Let's go. All right, guys, it's time for us to open this up, the Ceratosaurus Hammond Collection figure. But before we do that, let's take a look at some quick facts about the Ceratosaurus, okay? Just some quick facts. Ceratosaurus is known as the horned lizard. It weighs about a ton. Wow, okay. And this horns grew as it aged. Wow, I didn't know that. Very cool. Okay, so it's basically a carnivore that was discovered in Western USA as well as Tanzania. Very, very nice, okay? All right, so it's time for us to open this beautiful Ceratosaurus up. I'm going to use a box cutter. I mean, if you are a kid, please handle with care. Please do not use a box cutter on your own. If you are, I mean, have your parents to help you out, okay? If you are an adult like me, have your parents to help you as well. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, if you are an adult, you should be as careful. I mean, you should be more careful than Dan, for sure. Because Dan is very, very well known for being careless. I have plenty of cards on my, on my hands, to be honest with you, okay? So let's take a look at this beautiful Ceratosaurus packaging. It looks beautiful, you can see. It actually has an embossed logo right here. This is called UV spotting, you can see. Um, it has a shiny surface right here as compared to the rest of the box. It has a beautiful Hammond Collection logo right over here with some metallic kind of, um, you know, application right here. It looks like some kind of metal plates with some bolts. Very, very cool. On, um, the right hand side you can actually find a very very nice illustration so every box has its own illustration of the particular dinosaur at the back you can see um there's a scene i'm not too sure where this scene was from um it should be from you know one of the jurassic park movies beautiful very very beautiful and you can see the ceratosaurus in action come on let's get to the unboxing now yeah let's go all right guys so let's unbox this there's a tape right here so let's just cut the tape loose just slice it like this very easily done open a box very very beautiful packaging hopefully you can get another one to keep it if it's original box but i don't think so i don't think so so let's try to pull this one out okay you can only pull out um the plastic um part not this cardboard area so wow very nice i mean you can still look at the packaging it looks fantastic Beautiful illustrations in the background. And here it's our Ceratosaurus. Beautiful. Let me place a box nicely over here. Wow, looks fantastic, guys. Okay, so we need to um, take out all the parts. Let's begin with um, the tail first. So we can easily remove this from the plastic covering. And now we need to cut loose all the strings that are tying the Cerat Ceratosaurus down to the box. I'm gonna use my curved scissors. This is a very good pair of scissors. Cut this loose. Be really careful not to cut the dinosaur figure. You don't want to like scratch it or you know cut yourself. So be really, 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 really careful. Especially this one right here. Okay, you just have to be super careful. All right. I think we are able to pluck it out quite easily now. Let's do this. Wow, it's very, very hot. So let me try my best. Seems like there is another. Okay, there we go. Wow, took me quite a while to take it out. Wow, looks beautiful. So we have a tailless Ceratosaurus right here. I mean, we definitely need to pop in the tail. So you can see, um, there's like a little what do you call this? A little hole there. So you have to align it carefully, pop it right in to make sure that this little rectangular protruding thingy is um, aligned to the little hole over there. Okay, so pop it right in. Oh, that was fast. I didn't even hear like a pop sound. Yeah, but I guess it's pretty tight. So you're able to rotate the tail so you don't have to worry that you know, you're aligning it in the wrong direction. You can easily just twist it back to the right direction. Very, very cool, okay? So let me move all these little bits and pieces away. Let's have a close look at this. Wow, looks pretty amazing, guys. Wow, but let me see whether we are able to move it like this. Yep. Wow, it can stand 
perfectly. So let's begin with the face, okay? Let's take a look at the beautiful face of this Ceratosaurus. Okay, it comes with a movable jaw. Awesome stuff. Plenty of detailing done. But you can see the teeth are, are actually really, really big. You know, it doesn't really look nice when you close it. So it definitely look nicer if you open its jaw. So I, I would advise you to actually display it with its jaw wide open because the upper teeth are just way too long and it sort of like protrudes and um, overextends and covers the lower jaw, which looks very weird. So definitely display it with the mouth wide open. Yep, awesome stuff. The detailing on this figure is absolutely amazing. The paint scheme is absolutely amazing as well. You can see there are one, two, three, three points of articulation just on the neck itself. Awesome stuff. The color scheme, it's pretty much the same as the Rory Vaughan. Okay, you're able to move the arms like this, the hind legs as well. The hind legs, you're able to move them up and down like this. You can move them sideways. Of course, there is um, articulation on the hips. Uh, I'll call this the knee, I guess. Maybe this is the anchor. I'm not too sure whether this is the anchor or not. But there are one, two, three, four, four points of articulation just on the legs itself. Very, very amazing stuff. And of course, there's only one articulation on the tail. I'm not too sure whether you're able to rotate, I mean, whether you're able to bend the tail, but I, I prefer not to, okay? So overall, fantastic figure, guys. Absolutely amazing stuff. The new Hammond Collection, Ceratosaurus. I bought this myself from um, Amazon, if you guys do not know. Okay, so we will take a... <laughs> okay, let's place all the Ceratosaurus on the left, okay? On the left and the Baryonyx on the right. So Ceratosaurus, the next one that we are going to compare it with will definitely be the Hammond Collection Baryonyx. So let's do this. Okay guys, let's compare it with all the other Hammond Collection figures first, starting with the um, Baryonyx, okay? So this is basically the Baryonyx Hammond Collection, which is also an incredible figure, okay? So I think it's able to stand very well as well. Okay, not very sure, but I think you have to like rotate the body. Yeah, it's kind of like tilted sideways if I'm not wrong. Yeah, so you have to do it like this. Okay, very, very cool. This will probably be our thumbnail. Yeah, but I'll definitely need to place like more Ceratosaurus and Baryonyx behind as well. Yeah, I think it looks absolutely amazing. This too. Hammond Collection. Uh, I hope to collect every single Hammond Collection figure. I'm still waiting for my Triceratops to arrive. In case that you guys do not know, we have just recently reviewed the Galley Mimers, guys. Have you guys seen my Galley Mimers review on this? It's pretty incredible. I really love this figure as well. Um, yeah, so this is the Galley Mimers um, Hammond Collection figure. Beautiful figure. We do have another one, which is the um, Velociraptor, which is right here. So this is not blue, it's not Echo or the Delta, it's basically the generic Velociraptor from Jurassic Park first movie, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it, can, it could be from Lost World as well. If I'm not wrong, there are also Velociraptors in the Lost World. Okay, um, our last Hammond Collection figure will be this Parasaurolophus. Another absolutely incredible figure, okay, when it comes to the paint scheme, detailing. I mean, Hammond Collection is basically like the top class figures, okay? I mean, if you want to collect some figures, I, I would definitely recommend Hammond Collection. So I'm going to put these two figures away, and it's time for us to take a look at our Ceratosaurus versus Baryonyx collection. Okay, guys, so let's begin. Okay, this was actually the very first Ceratosaurus that was produced. Okay, let me place this to, you know, a little bit backwards, okay? I, I mean, I mean a, a little bit more to the back. So you can see, this is actually our Rory Vaw. This was released sometime in 2018. Um, it's supposed to be working. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, we do have a spare one, if I'm not wrong. Yeah, this is um, kind of... Um, yeah, it's kind of annoying at times because sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. Uh, let me just try this once more. Let's press the button down as hard as possible and hold it there. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. I've just replaced the battery, so you know, it's definitely having uh, good batteries inside. But yeah, there you go. You can see the colors are very, very similar. But this one, the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus is definitely better because um, the colors are more realistic. This one is a bit too vibrant um if you ask me okay but still 
a fantastic figure. Let's put this right over here, okay? So I'm going to show you guys the very first Baryonyx as well, okay? Take a look at this. Okay, this was the very first Baryonyx that came along with the Ceratosaurus. It is basically the Rorivore, okay? Rorivore, it looks like Chaos, it looks like the Camp Cretaceous Chaos, but it's actually not. Okay, check this out. Still working very well. It's my absolute favorite Baryonyx figure because it has shiny scales on top of the head as well as around the eyes, okay? The shiny scales is actually a very, very good representation that it is a semi aquatic dinosaur guys okay so do you guys know that baryonyx they are actually semi-aquatic dinosaurs they can swim they can also live on the land so they probably hunt for fish which is why they they do have a bit of um you know scale like structures that um that is um similar to fish okay let me put this over here it looks absolutely amazing let's take a look at our next ceratosaurus figure okay the very next one was um this one, okay, not this one. Actually, a, if I'm not wrong, it's um the brown one, okay, the brown ceratosaurus. So this was actually from the second wave, second wave of the ceratosaurus. A beautiful one as well. I think the sound should be working. Yep. Fortunately, so you can see this one is actually using the exact same sculpt as the wave one Rorivo. Okay, so I'm gonna put this right at the back. Okay, let me just try to balance it first because I, I, I know that this Ceratosaurus they do have some problems standing um, standing like you know with a lot of stability so they, they tend to fall over quite easily if I'm not wrong you see yeah they tend to fall over quite easily so what I do is that I will try to lean it against its heel it's not the best way it's not a it's not the best looking way but I think it solves the problem so I definitely recommend you guys to do that if your figure keeps falling over uh, it's still falling over all right next let's take a look at our next baryonyx all right the next baryonyx i'm going to show you guys the wave 2 baryonyx okay so this is basically wave 2 rory Vaugh. um it didn't come with any figure any um human figure so this one is actually quite nice but um in terms of the detailing in terms of the paint scheme in terms of the coloration on the eyes, it's actually not very well done. As you guys can see, the left eye is actually very, very faded as compared to the right eye. Okay, but it's fine. It's still, it's still a fantastic figure. Uh, I really love the Baryonyx from um, Mattel because I think they have um, given it a very, very beautiful sculpt. So they definitely look um, fantastic for sure. Okay, gonna place them as neatly as possible because I want to use this for my thumbnail as well. Okay, so next, Ceratosaurus. Let's see what else we've got. Um, where's the other one? So I've shown you guys three so far. I think there should be another one. Okay, this one. Um, okay, this one is not a Rorivor, although it has a button. This button basically just triggers the jaw. Okay, check this out. Okay, there are no sounds, but you can still see there is like a compartment right here. So they basically took the same sculpt and created this. But of course, there are no batteries. And you can see the colors of this. Um, it's very similar to the red and the yellow Ceratosaurus, just with a darker tone. This is basically the um, Cam Cretaceous version, if I'm not wrong. Yep, that's right. I think so. Okay, I'm going to put this... Um, in the same pose as the rest I'm gonna put it right behind the Hammond collection Ceratosaurus and it's now time for us to take a look at the next Baryonyx okay um the next one let's see which one should we go with probably one of the one one of the ones that I really like this is the lava search playset Baryonyx if you can see there are like sparks okay maybe not sparks specks of you know, lava on his body, and there's plenty of lava on the, on the head. So in case that you guys have forgotten, in Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, basically there was a baryonic scene where the lava was dripping from the ceiling, okay? And some of them actually drip and fall on the head of the baryonics, okay? So this is basically the lava search playset. Very, very beautiful figure. I think this is what, one of the best um, 
color scheme that you can find out there. Very, very beautiful. All right, next, let's take a look at another Ceratosaurus. Okay, maybe this time, let's go with a vintage one, okay? So this is actually a 2015 Ceratosaurus. Uh, it's kind of cool. I know that, you know, the 2015 dinosaurs actually got a plenty of hate, but, you know, I love every single dinosaur, no matter whether they are bad or good. Okay, so this one is a 2015. I would consider this as a vintage one. Not exactly vintage. It's just like seven years ago then. Okay, retro. No, retro is not the right word. Just an old Ceratosaurus. Let's put this right here. Maybe let's do this. Okay, I'm trying to make it um, stand upright, but I don't think it can. So this will probably go to the very, very left corner. All right, next, very onyx. Um, since we are going with vintage, let me show you guys a vintage one, okay? This is basically a classic um, Jurassic Park 23, as you guys can see. Um, vintage Kenner 1994 Barry Onyx. It's, it's, it's an electronic dinosaur, okay? Check this out. Uh, and the sounds are still working. That's pretty amazing, right? Okay, so this one, I'm gonna put it right here. Maybe at the back, right here, over here. So this is basically a very vintage looking, I mean, um, Baryonyx is known as the heavy claw because the first claw is actually bigger than the rest by quite a bit. So you can find it in every single figure. So Baryonyx, known as the heavy claw. So this is a vintage figure. Let's put this right at the back. Yep, we got this from, I can't remember where, but yeah, it's, it's an old, old figure. Next, Ceratosaurus. I think this is our last one. I mean, in terms of the big ones, this is definitely the last one. This is basically the latest Ceratosaurus. I mean, if you, um, apart from the Hammond Collection Ceratosaurus, this is the latest one. This is basically the Raw Attack Ceratosaurus. Same color scheme as what you can see over here, and uh, but different mechanism. So there are, there's a switch right here. One, two, and three. So there are basically four positions. Okay, zero. I named this position zero, which is neutral. The jaw is closed. And one. Okay. Two and three. So basically four different positions of the jaw. Very, very beautiful one. Yep. And uh, this one will definitely help to save a bit more batteries because those sound strike, you know, the sounds get activated very, very easily. So the batteries run out very, very easily as well. So let me put this Ceratosaurus right here, guys. Amazing stuff. Next, Baryonyx. We still have plenty of Baryonyx to go, guys. Plenty of them. Um, we do have... Um, just hang on, hang on there. Okay, we have... This is actually from the... Um, I'm not too sure what is the exact name, but I think this came along with Owen. It's like the Baryonyx breakout set or something like that. And you can see that some, you can see like better scars on his body. Of course, they are not sculpted. They are just painted. Very beautiful as well. So let me put this one um, probably at the back as well. Over here. Uh, I, I don't think you can see it. But maybe here. Yep. Beautiful. Very, very beautiful. Okay. Ceratosaurus, we are almost done. So let's take a look at more Baryonyx figures. So this one is actually Baryonyx Limbo, if I'm not wrong. Baryonyx Limbo from Camp Cretaceous. Another beautiful Baryonyx. Let me put this right here. The vintage one, I'm going to put it like, you know, over here. Okay. There is another one. I mean, there are two more, in fact. Or rather, three more. This is... Limbo, I think as well. This is Limbo. This is Limbo. Baryonyx Limbo. Raw Attack Baryonyx Limbo. Okay, beautiful one. Um, oh dear, I've forgotten we actually have another one. Raw Attack Ceratosaurus. I'm so sorry, I apologize to you, um, Ceratosaurus. Okay, so this is basically um, Raw Attack Ceratosaurus. I think this is pretty I mean, in terms of the coloration, I'm not a huge fan, to be honest with you, because it is really, really bland. Very, very dull, very boring. It's just like green and black, but else, this one you are able to find like red, black, brown, and also like cream. 
So this one, I feel it's all, um, yeah, in terms of coloration, it definitely pales in comparison. Definitely, definitely, okay? Just gonna put this one right here. Um, next up, let's take a look at another Baryonyx. We have another one which is green. I think the colors of green is um, very beautiful and interesting because you can find different shades of green. You can see um, this is more like an olive green and this one is like a brighter green right here. You can also find like brown and a bit of like a uh, mustard color right here. Beautiful figure. And the toe claws are even painted, which is quite amazing. I mean, if you take a look at the other Baryonyx, the toe claws, majority of them aren't painted. So this is quite incredible. So Baryonyx Green is definitely one of um, my um, favorite Baryonyx, okay? All right, let's see what else we've got. We have another one. This is probably our last one. This is Baryonyx Chaos. Baryonyx Chaos from Camp Cretaceous. Beautiful figure as well. So this is the um, raw attack. So it comes with one position, two, three, and four. Very, very nice. Absolutely amazing, but I'm not a huge fan of this big switch right here, to be honest with you. I feel they are very bulky. They look kind of um, um, too huge for my liking. Okay, so this is the um, raw attack. Baryonyx. Okay, let me put my camera a little bit higher so that you guys can just, you know, are able to have a better look at the at them. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I think we have finished all the huge figures. It's time for us to take a look at the smaller figures, okay? Let's begin with oh yes, I mean I've forgotten that there's another one. So you can see there are plenty of Baryonyx. That there are much more, I mean, there are so many more Baryonyx as compared to the Ceratosaurus. So this one right here is actually another vintage Baryonyx. It's an official Jurassic Park figure. You can see JP is written right here. Um, this figure should be from 1990, 1997. Probably older than some of you guys who are not even born yet. I think so, I think so. But that's fine, that's fine. I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show it to you guys anyway, okay? Oh, uh, I mean, you will be able to see lots of um, vintage dinosaurs on my channel, so you don't have to worry about that, okay? Um, yeah, so the next one, let's take a look at um, the Ceratosaurus. I think for the Ceratos Ceratosaurus, we are just left with the small figures, okay? This one, it's basically a um, minifigure um, from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom, okay? Let me put this Ceratosaurus right here. Next up, let's take a look at the Baryonyx. In fact, we have so many Baryonyx, okay? This is actually from, um, you know, the same series. This is probably from like Wave 2. There are many of them, guys. Plenty of them. I don't... Let me see whether we are able to fit all of them into uh, the box. Just give me a second, guys. Okay? So you can see we have so many different variants. Just hang on a second. I'm trying to retrieve all of them from the box. I think that's about it guys, only 4 so far, we probably have more but I've not managed to find them. So this is Grim, okay, Baryonyx Grim, um, the bright green Baryonyx which I've told you guys that I really like. So that is from the Camp Cretaceous. Let's put this right here. What else do we have? This is probably Chaos, but you know, it was actually released before Camp Cretaceous so it could, I mean it could be just a, you know, Generic Baryonyx, so this is another one. I think this sculpt looks amazing. There's no articulation, but the sculpt actually looks better than the uh, majority of the, um, of the figures here. Okay, let's see whether we have more Ceratosaurus figures. I think we are just left with one right here, guys. So this is basically the latest one from Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom 20, 2022. Very nice. There will be another um, paint scheme coming up. Um, we'll be getting it really soon as well. So stay tuned for that. Okay, next up, we're gonna take a look at more Baryonyx figures. So how many of you guys have watched like Jurassic World Dominion? I think a uh, majority of you guys have watched it. I've watched it twice. I'm hoping to watch it the third time on, um, on TV really soon. So this is basically the mechanical arm Baryonyx. Oh, we've forgotten to bring one down, guys one mechanical arm Baryonyx from level 2 Jurassic World Villains. Okay, in case that you guys don't know, this figure of mine, it can stand. Yeah, it's kind of sad. Can stand. Let me, let me just try. Let me just try. 
Yep, it can stand no matter how much I try. I even try to balance it against his tail, but it, it just can't stand. It's kind of um, sad, but there's nothing you can do about this. Yep, it really can stand. No matter how you balance it, there's no way. So I'm just gonna put this like lying down here. We can probably put some blue tack below to make it stand. And this is Baryonyx Grim. This is from the Captive X collection. Beautiful figure. I'm just gonna put it right over here. Okay, I think all the figures that are left are all Baryonyx. Okay, so there we go. Three Baryonyx right here from the latest um, Jurassic World Dominion mini blind bags. So you can see we have a generic Baryonyx. Just gonna put this one right here. We have two more. So in case that you guys feel and think that these two are the same, look carefully. The patterns of, of this Baryonyx actually stops right here. It doesn't extend over the tail, but for this, it spreads all the way from the body, the head to the tail right here. So, yep. Okay, they are different for sure. Alright, let's see what else we've got. I'm trying to line them up properly over here. So this is another paint variation that was released, um, I think, lately. So this is a green one. Pretty cool figure. Okay, let's see what else we've got. Um, yep, I'm gonna show you guys two Takara Tomi Baryonyx, okay? So these two, I think they're supposed to be the same. Yeah, I think they should be the same. Yeah, so let me just display one of them. I think just one of them will do. Let me move back um, this. I'm gonna put this Baryonyx right here. As you guys can see, there's only two Ceratosaurus, which is very sad, guys, very sad. Okay, we don't... Next, I'm gonna show you guys Ceratosaurus from Snap Squad. So you guys, I mean Baryonyx from Snap Squad. So you can see we have two Baryonyx from Snap Squad, but we have none for Ceratosaurus, which is kind of sad. But we'll go around the basement dino dungeon to take a look to see whether we have missed out any Ceratosaurus. I'll be happy to show you guys, okay? Okay, our last figure is actually a Baryonyx Happy Mew figure. This one is pretty cute. You can actually ro rotate the tail like this. And um, the head will actually move up and down. Very cute and adorable. Okay, I think that is all, guys. The box is totally empty right now. I'm going to just qu quickly show you guys around uh, Basement Dino, Dino Dungeon, okay? To make sure that we don't miss out any of the figures. Okay, speaking of missing out, we have totally missed out one of this figure. This is probably Limbo. I'm not too sure. Probably. How many Baryonyx were there? There was like, you know, Chaos, Limbo, Green. Is there another, another one? I think only three, right? If I'm not wrong. So I think I'm going to put this one right here. Okay. All right, let's do a quick check in the basement of the dungeon to make sure that we didn't miss out any Ceratosaurus, okay? I mean, we definitely have Ceratosaurus um, from Safari LTD. Can you guys see that? That is a Ceratosaurus. This one, the brown one with the three horns, that is a Ceratosaurus. We also have another Ceratosaurus inside this shelf. Let me open up and then show you guys, okay? You can guys see that, that is um this is the Ceratosaurus, the red one, this one right in the middle. This is basically a Ceratosaurus from um, Terra by Batat. So I, I, I'm not going to bring it out to show you guys, you can you guys can just have a look from here. But of course we still have plenty of Baryonyx, okay, there's a Baryonyx from Safari LTD here as well. Okay guys, just a very very quick tour of our dino dungeon so i don't think there are any more ceratosaurus that we have missed out from you know jurassic park and jurassic world i'm trying to find but i don't see any okay in case that you guys are wondering yes we have the new rahasaurus right here okay so we will be reviewing this um next week so stay tuned for that i'm quite excited about this hopefully we'll be able to get all the different um raw strikers really soon you know, there's still I'm still awaiting um Pteranodon as well. Um Ichthyovanator as why well, as well as the Siamosaurus. So hopefully those will arrive really soon and um I can do a review to show you guys, okay? So yep, that's about it guys.
Okay guys, thanks for watching this video. I think this video is slightly shorter than um, the rest of our videos and hopefully you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you guys have any comments or suggestions like you know what other collection videos you guys want me to make, I'll be happy to do that. You can drop some comments down below. Um, or, and also follow me on Instagram as well because I do lots of, um, I post lots of stories. I post lots of stories and um, reels over there. I do updates um, almost on daily basis. So follow me on Instagram if you, I mean, if you're a kid, don't do that. Have your parents to follow me as, okay? If you are an adult, you can follow me for sure. Okay, um, thanks for watching this. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks and goodbye.